think you can hear me properly. I'm having to speak kind of quietly because everyone's asleep. But I haven't introduced this video at all. And yeah, so as you can see, coming to you from a bit of a different location. Um, my family normally comes to this seaside town like multiple times a year. I personally haven't been here for ages. Um, it's not my favorite if I'm honest. Uh, we're going later to the one that I actually do enjoy going every year. Um, but yeah, this one is just full of drunk people. It's got a very beautiful like old town bed. Um, but everything else is just lights and party of in drunk Englishmen and Frenchmen. A lot of Frenchmen here. Um, yeah. And even though we're only here for like one night, I just couldn't help myself. I brought three books. Am I gonna read them? Have I read them? Sort of. All of them. First one being The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I am completely loving this book. When I first tried reading it, I wasn't too sure, but I am loving it. And in here I have what has become my faithful companion, which is this bookmark. Yes. <laughs> also, I brought this other one. Um, which they're like short stories. They're by Lee Berdugo. Um Haven't started this one yet, but I think I'm gonna do it right now. And lastly, I've got The Telephone Box Library by Rachel Lucas. I bought this, I think two years ago maybe, in a charity shop in England. And I, I just never read it. And it's a very cute story. The first like page starts describing the little town and it automatically took me back to the villages I've been in England and I just love that so much. And as it's usual for me, I'm the like, first one to wake up because I have like an old lady, like it's called my logical clock, I don't know what it's called in English, but I just wake up super early doesn't matter, I could have gone to sleep at like 3 in the morning, I'll be up at 7 the latest, but normally like 6, half past 6, so yeah, I'm waiting also for the supermarket to open because I want breakfast, but I've got nothing, and the cafes around here, they don't look too appealing to me, and the other town that I do like, they, I know a couple good places, but we won't be there until like 11 and I'm hungry now. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna read and wait. was quite a bit of a fail. On one hand the weather wasn't quite beach appropriate and I was <clears throat> I was hoping I was just we were gonna go to the beach and just spend the whole day there and I was gonna be able to read loads but the weather 
the weather was thinking something completely different. But also, so the seaside town I was so looking forward to going, it, it was it was bloody awful. <laughs> so <laughs> I used to go there with someone. <laughs> Like we went there quite a few times and it's a very small town and you know in books and series and movies and stuff when they're so overwhelmed. Bloody dog. when they're in really overwhelming situations, normally involving seeing a corpse, but you know. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that dog. But also I've read different situations as well. Bloody hell. They simply just throw up. I never understood that, but going to that town, I got so incredibly overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> I was nauseous. I was literally nauseous for the whole time we were there. So we walked past this jewelry shop and that just triggered me. And I started crying and then I was kind of anxious and then I was just nauseous. I had to run away. I literally had to run away. It was bloody awful. Never going back. <laughs> At least now I know I can't go back. <laughs> so that paired with the bad weather just meant that we came home um, and yep, yeah, I haven't finished any books. I have read loads but yeah, I'm still trying to finish this and yeah, that was a fail. That was a, that was a big fail. <laughs> Hopefully when we go to Valencia next month I can actually do some bit reads, you know, cheesy books that you only read in summer. <laughs>